Hey everybody, welcome to Down Basement Beer Tastings. Um, all right, I'm I'm not I'm not conceding here. This isn't you know official me giving up on the race, but uh... yeah, damn right I'm not conceding. Uh, <laughs> we're calling this a draw. There's nothing to concede. Um, hi, uh, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Uh, my name's Alan. Uh, if uh, you're not sure what I'm talking about here, for the last week, I uh, had a little contest going with uh, Brew from uh, Beer for Breakfast Facts for Snacks. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Drew, sorry, Brew in person uh, a few weeks ago, and we went to uh, Bell City Brewing in uh, his hometown of Brantford, Ontario. And, uh, yeah, we had a great time. We each shot a video for our own channel with the other guy as a special guest that day. And Brew came up with the idea uh, that we should do a little contest to see who gets the most views. So last Monday, we both uploaded our videos in the morning at the same time. Uh, within 24 hours, we both had 137 views. Um, which is pretty good. That's, that's definitely well above average for me, especially for one day. Um, and we said, oh, maybe we should just call this a draw. You know, we'll just call it a draw uh, and leave it at that. But we said, well, let's just give it the full week and see what happens. Uh, and then, yeah, over the course of the week, uh, I was a little bit ahead of Drew Tuesday. And then Drew got tons and tons more views. Um... And so a few days ago, I started filming the video you were just about to watch. It just started at the beginning of this. A few days ago, Drew was like, I think, a couple hundred views above mine. And I'm just like, well, you know, I'm I'm going to be busy for a couple days. I'm going to film my my <laughs> my video where I do my first of uh, my punishment i don't know what do you call it what uh, my uh my stakes the, the stakes for the view the 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 bet for me i said that i would chug beers three beers th chug three beers in a row like not not in one sitting but like three uh episodes in a row <laughs> and try to talk about the beer try to review the beer after chugging it uh, so I, I start, I did one of those, uh, cause I thought, well, on the off chance that I start getting some more numbers and, you know, I come out on top that I, I would still do one just, just for the sake of it. But then our numbers started going down a bit, but <laughs> Drew didn't have as, like hundreds more than me anymore. It, it, I think our final number is, I think, as of eight o'clock uh, this morning, like Monday morning. I'll, I'll post this Tuesday, but Monday morning, uh, the exact mark of, of the seven days. Um, I think I was at 346 and he was at 358. So he did edge me out a little, but there was this fluctuation in numbers. And I probably uh, what happened, I know in my case, I had a couple people said, well, I'm just going to watch it on repeat. And then you're going to get more views. And I, I bet we both had people doing that. And I imagine that kind of screws up with the YouTube algorithms or something. But it gave us a bunch of views and it took a few away. Uh, but the bottom line is, we I don't know, for me anyway, it's, it's I think the most viewed video I have outside of a YouTube short. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of that has to do with people watching it more than once. But uh, I thank you all for the support. So that's what it came down to is uh, we called it a draw. Drew's stakes were to, uh, I think he was going to hard pour his beers for like two weeks. You got to understand if you don't already watch his show, watch his show. Um, Drew really does not like to hard pour his beers. He finds uh, that makes them flat and, and he doesn't enjoy that. So he's going to do that for two weeks. Uh, so he, I think what we just ended up deciding on was... He'll hard pour one. I'll chug one. We'll call it a day. It was a fun week. So as I said, I recorded this a couple days ago. It wasn't pretty, uh, but uh, enjoy or watch it. <laughs> oh God! <clears throat> All right. I yeah. Uh, did I mention I'm 53 years old and I'm chugging beer by myself in my basement? 
All right, so today's beer, uh, this one actually comes to me from Shane, from Shane's Craft Beer Reviews. It's from the uh, Breakwall Brewing Company. It's Breakwall Blonde. It's a 5% blonde ale. Uh, it's a beer I've been looking forward to trying, uh, and I'm probably not going to enjoy it that much because I'm going to have to chug the damn thing. Uh, well, pours out nice and golden. Uh, there's a drop in there. Let's just, just live with it, okay? Uh, <laughs> nice golden color. Not too much of a, like a activity. Not too much of like a upside down snowfall or anything like that. It's just, uh, yeah, just kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a flat beer, actually. Uh, but everything else that I've had that uh, Shane sent me from Breakwall Brewing, I've really enjoyed. None of them I've had to chug. Uh, but thankfully... The one that I had set for today is a blonde ale and not a stout, uh, not like some crazy sour or something. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Um, all right, so thanks again to everyone who uh, supported me through this silly journey last week, getting me over 400 views. Maybe it's more by now. Maybe I didn't lose. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's uh, see how this is on the nose. Pretty nondescript. Um, yeah, I'm not really getting anything on the nose at all. Uh, all right, well, we'll talk about the taste in a minute. Jeez. Uh, oh, this one's for you, brew. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. Okay. I'm trying my best here. Uh, I did a chug challenge a while ago and it was like a really, really light beer and it went down fine, but man, this is uh this is not built for that. Oh god. Alright, I'll, I'll keep going. Sorry, I didn't think I was gonna have to do it in two in two go rounds. Oh dear. Here we go. All right, so uh, the mouth feels kind of smooth. Um, Taste-wise, I almost get like a, a corn note in there. Um, yeah, regret, a little bit of regret. Uh, whoa, dear God. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, I don't know if I can give a fair assessment of that beer. All right, I know, I know, I, I was not successful in that chug. The tall can chug, I was not successful. Uh, it was a blonde ale, which is, a, you know, not the worst thing I could have chosen. Uh, the next things on my schedule to review were a uh, wheat beer and a peach sour. Uh, so it would have gotten really ugly if I, if I, like, conceded and had to drink those. But that's not the case. I only had to do the one. But I still kind of failed. <laughs> so, fine, I'll do one more chug. But I'm not pick picking one of my fancy craft beers that I want to review. I want to enjoy those. I'm also not doing a tall boy. I reached into the back of the fridge and I found something very cold, very easy going. I'm pretty sure I can chug this. It's a smaller can. Uh, it's an original 16 Canadian Pale Ale. I I'm pretty sure I can do this. Uh, yeah, this is, this is it. This is the last of my chugs for Drew, or chugs for brew. This is the last of them. Uh, I'm just going to pour it out because I'm not chugging it from the can. I'm not a complete animal. All right. There, I'll, I'll pour it out here on the camera, not off camera, so you, you know, can see how legit I am. Hi. This will be about as enjoyable as the last one was, I'm sure. All right, friends. Uh, Drew, this one's for you, buddy. <sighs> Done. That's it. 
That was a beer. It was fine. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you all again real soon. Cheers. Get a tired enemy to go home.